All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a Weebly, which is a website that you can use for pretty much anything. Uh, it's a paid service if you want the pro account, but otherwise it's free. So first thing you do is sign up. Um, you can use Facebook to sign up. I wouldn't really suggest it though. So I'm just gonna make something up here. Brett at Brett and hotmail.com. And you know, you're gonna use your real uh, email and password that uh, you wanna use. All right sign up it's free and what they're gonna do is try to give you like a little tour in the beginning um, but if you're watching this then obviously you're not gonna watch that so they give you a lot of simple ones to go with at first um, so go ahead and look through those the ones you want and then go ahead and choose one don't worry about the design you can change that even after you've already have um, you know put all the pictures and words in or whatever else you want you can always change the theme later on all right and then it's gonna ask me do I want a subdomain or register one so let's say you want um, you know, myself at dot com. That that costs money, so um, you can look into that if you'd like. Otherwise, we're gonna go with a free one. So it'll say like um, like my name is gonna be Brett. So I'm gonna do P W Brett um, twenty ten. Let's say. All right, this is gonna be like a little portfolio. That's my my aim. And it says it's available. Hit continue. And it's gonna try to give me a little tour. Don't need it. I'm gonna close it out. Okay. And so what's gonna happen now is it, they've changed the layout. Um, so if you've used this before, it looks a little bit different now. So you just hover your mouse over on the left side and it gives you all the options. Okay, uh, before we even get into that though, I just wanna look at the page overall. Um, right now, maybe you don't want this picture. You can go to edit the image um, to something that you want, or you can um, change it just to no header, for example, which that's personally what I would um, like to use. Or um, since that header's gone now, I can also go to pages and this shows all the pages I have. I could go to landing page for my home page, which makes sense. So if I go to save and edit, you can see what that looks like. So maybe I have something like this instead, which I kind of like. So you can say, hey, welcome to my portfolio. All right. And then you could have a little information there about yourself. Or let's say this button, I could link that to somewhere else that I've been, or maybe a picture or whatever else. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with that yet. All right. And again, I can still edit that image. Otherwise, I'm going to go back to pages. And you can see that I only had a home page at the top. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few pages. So I'm just going to do standard page for this. And I could call this like awards. All right. And then I'm going to, hit an, I'm going to add another page. And maybe I'm going to call this one um, hobbies. All right. And then you can see, I'll show you after that. Okay. And then maybe under hobbies, maybe I'd actually have um, another one. So under hobbies, maybe then I would have like basketball. All right, and save. So now if I look, I have home, awards, hobbies, and basketball. Now basketball would probably fit under hobbies or activities or interests. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I want the basketball to go under hobbies. So again, I'm gonna go back to pages. And if I just move this to the right, it's got this little gap. Now, in the drop-down menu, it won't show up until it's there. You can also do things like hide uh, from navigation. That's not something you might want as well. And then I'm going to go to no header for all of these. Only on my home page is it going to have a header. And save and edit to go back to it. So let's check it out. So on my home page, I have that image with a little welcome message. And then I can put all my content down here. If I go to awards, it gets rid of that. And I can just have that. And if you look at hobbies, if I click on hobbies, that's its own page. But also, if I hover my mouse over it, I can also go to basketball. Okay. Um, and you can also change my site. So maybe I could type in, you know, Brett's portfolio. And I believe, oh, I'm sorry, that's just on the, on the basketball page. So I'd probably want to name that basketball if I'm on that page. All right. So. Okay, let's get into it then. So on my welcome page, I'm going to say that. Brett's portfolio. All right, there we go. Looking pretty slick. All right, and maybe I'd want one more page because I'm going to add some content. So I'm going to go to standard page, and this one I'm going to call um, my work. All right, so all the work that, that maybe I have done. All right, go to this I, my work page. Um, I can just start dragging stuff in. So I'm going to hover my mouse over here on the left side, 
and maybe I want to put a title in or image and text. You know, you decide what you want. And they actually broke it up into structure, media, revenue, commerce, and more. All right, I'm going to run you through a few of these. Um, so maybe I'd go in here and type in um, maybe uh, computer-related work. Okay. And then I'm going to go with image and text. I'm going to drop that in there. And maybe I've created something I'm really proud of. So I'm going to go upload photos from my computer. You could also link it from somewhere else. Um, but I have a few images that I have, uh, pictures I took. So I'm going to use this photo here, hit open. And it's going to upload and it'll actually be hosted on this website, nowhere else. And um, what I can do is then put in here, see, uh, here is a photo I took of a friend. All right. And I can change the size of things right here. So maybe I think that's a little small. I can make it a little bit bigger, change the font color. And maybe what I could do is my friend link here, I could make that a link and have it go somewhere. So maybe I want to go to his website. So my website.com. All right. That doesn't make sense. but And I can choose to have it open up in a different window or not. Um, or let's say I do want to go to a page like I could, let's say I had a, um, a link to his page on my website. You could just ha also select it there. Okay, but I'm going to keep it to here. All right, I'm going to hit save. All right, the other thing I can do is I can click, the picture's kind of small. Um, so one thing I can do is, I'm not sure what this light box is. I'm going to turn that on, why not? Um, but I can link it to a file. So again, I'm going to choose file on my website. So when I click on it, it becomes big. So I'm going to upload a new file. So the file is actually already on, on here, but uh, I'm going to choose that one, hit open. And that way it links to a file. So if I click on it, I'll be able to use it like that. All right, and then I can add a caption and stuff like that. Um, you can click through those and see what it looks like. And they also have advanced, so if you want to put a border around it and position it the way you want. All right, then I just click out of that area, and there it is. So computer-related work, here's a photo I took of a friend. All right, um, you can also um, upload other things. So, for example, let's say you are using um, Google Drive, okay? And let's say I have a document I want to share. So, um, let's say this is the document I want to share. I can go up to Share, all right? And I can change this to anyone, anyone with a link, okay? I can save that. I can copy that link there. So, anyone can view this with a link, hit Done. And then the Weebly here... Um, Let's say I add another text box. I'm just going to put it right here. And I could say, um, here is some <laughs> written work. <laughs> okay. And, and I want to say with, with Google Drive, what you can do is you can upload anything. So if I click Upload Files or Folder, it'll allow you to upload just about anything you want. So I'm going to look at my desktop, see if what I have here. Like, right, for example, here is a, an MP3 or a video. I could I get it open. It's going to get uploaded to Google Drive, which is nice. And I can just click on that object. And it doesn't show a preview, but I can hit share right now. And I could change this so anyone with a link can use this item. Because Weebly is not going to host everything for free. Okay, So I'm going to go here and I could highlight that. Um, actually, it's not written work. It's audio <laughs> work, let's say. And I could highlight that, link it, and again, it's going to go to a website, which is actually the file. And I could host it on here too, but I'm just showing you you can host things on Weebly or you can host it on Google Drive or Dropbox or somewhere else too, and hit save. All right, so let's see what this looks like now. So I'm going to hit publish here, and I'm going to say this is for education, so I'm just going to choose that, and I'm this is a class project, but don't ask me this again. <laughs> Continue. And it's going to have you verify that you're a person. All right. Hopefully I spelled everything right. It'll say publishing. So now this will be available to anyone in the entire world who types in this address. So if they go to pwbrett2010.weebly.com, they will see this. Okay, it's going to take a little bit to load the background for the first time. But uh, you can see if I ho hover over hobbies, basketball there, I'm going to go to my work. And here we see the image I took of a friend that links to a different website. Or if I click on it, it'll bring up the full-size image um, 
that was taken. So it's a great way to host it that way. Okay. And then last, here's some audio work. If I click on that, it'll actually bring up that audio file to download. All right. Which is also nice to have. And now if I go back to Weebly, I'm going to close that out. All right. And if I don't want people to see this yet, I can go to settings and let's say act archive or unpublish. And I could say, ooh, I, you know, I made a lot of mistakes. I'm not going to be able to fix them. So I'm going to unpublish this site for now. Yes, unpublish. So I click that, and now that site won't be used any longer. Um, there are a few other things that are handy to use. Um, just look through there. Most of them are self-explanatory, like using a gallery or contact form. Just drop it in there and try it out. Um, and they have video in there. But, like, I, I would suggest just hosting it on YouTube. So let's say I... Here is my YouTube link, so I'm going to just drop it down there. And you can search for it. Um, like if you click on this once, it'll say video URL. You can just throw that in there. And you can also go to advance and choose the size of it. Um, ooh, they let you choose HD now, so that's, that's nice to see. Um, and there you go. So I can just unclick out of there. If this is the video I want, then that'd be fine. All right. But I'm going to close it out for now because I don't really need it, so I'm going to delete that out. And they have files in there, so you can do documents. Um, and then embed code is really handy if you want to embed things on your own. So if that's the case, you drop it in there. So if, if, I was, if I were to be on YouTube, I could get the embed code on there and then just paste it right into here. So that's another way of doing that. Um, and if you don't know how to do that, I can show you. So for example, YouTube. And I will go to the Kid President video, why not, from Soul Pancake. And uh, so what you can do is you can do a share and embed, and I can grab this code right here, and you can actually choose the size of it as well. This doesn't give you the option to play in HD right away, but the new Weebly does. So I can click the HTML there, paste it in there, and just click away, and it will actually appear to be in there then. So that's good to see. Okay, and last couple things. If I go to design... You can change fonts in here. Like maybe, you know, I don't like how light these are. So I'm gonna go to paragraph text and the color right now is a little too light for me. So I'm gonna drop it down so it's a little darker there. I think that's easier to read. And you can change the, the line height and stuff like that as well. And uh, yeah, so that's good. And you change the font and whatever else. Um, and then lastly, I can go to design options here and change theme. This is very nice to have. I can, um, sort by color or whatever else so i i kind of like the dark stuff myself i don't know i'm not emo but I, I i tend to like it so let's say this one's the one i want to switch to i can just hit choose or preview i'm going to choose it and then all right away it just shows what it would look like instead and you can see it's got a slick looking background it's got my um it's got the same drop down menus all, everything's there still so you know this this image right here will change um but the things i typed in and the files that I put in and everything else will be there. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it. So just, it's a pretty thing, easy thing to use. Go ahead and just click through things and, and try it out. You can't really screw it up that bad. Um, the most confusing part for a lot of people is just the pages, but it's really easy once you just try it out. So good luck. Remember to publish it and unpublish when you don't want people to see it. So good luck.